In other news, United States President Donald Trump has reportedly confirmed the renewal of sanctions waivers for foreign firms working with Iran's civilian nuclear program. This move comes despite staunch objections from Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and National Security Advisor John Bolton. The Trump White House had previously suggested that they wouldn't extend the waivers beyond August 1st, but clearly the tide has turned. According to the Washington Post, which broke the story on Tuesday, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin was the one to convince President Trump to sign the waiver extensions. Citing six unnamed officials in the administration, Mnuchin allegedly explained that canceling the sanctions abruptly would force the U.S. to sanction the individual firms that are involved. Firms from Russia, China, and several European countries that were allowed to help Iran maintain nuclear cities and equipment for civilian use alone. And Mnuchin added that the U.S. simply needs more time to study the impact that these new sanctions might have. That being said, though, these waivers can be revoked at any time, according to the anonymous officials. And this is indeed the end goal. But because of the Treasury Department's legitimate concerns, we've decided to extend them for now. Meanwhile, the Iranian Tazneem news agency is now alleging that Israel and the United States conspired to assassinate Yukia Amano, the director general of the IAEA who passed away last week. The uncorroborated report quotes anonymous sources who say that Israel and the U.S. pressed Amano to launch a false investigation into Iran's nuclear affairs. But Amano wouldn't budge. Therefore, Amano was, quote, taken out by the Israeli regime so that the International Atomic Energy Agency would have a new chair. This comes even though at 72 years old, it's been reported that Amano suffered from ill health and that the longtime IAEA head had already missed two important board meetings with plans to resign no later than March of 2020.